And welcome back to 90s Noise. This is Ashley, born 1988. I'm April, born 1991. Jumping, jumping. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> Pretty much. Oh, man. Well, we're back again. And we're back. Back. <laughs> <laughs> It's been a long week. Oh, <laughs> yeah. I, I, I don't have the same over here. It was just kind of another normal week for me. But this round, we're going into 90s crushes. Mm. Yeah. Ooh. All right, show off. I can't whistle. Oh, shit. <laughs> I can't. I legitimately have tried for 27 years, and it doesn't fucking work. I can't. Like, I couldn't get like a small. I couldn't whistle for the longest time either. I always did like an inhaled whistle, and then I somehow I eventually learned how I. Yeah. No. I, now nope, I can't even I do the inhale one anymore. But <laughs> I don't know. I, <laughs> it finally just worked yeah. out for me. <laughs> yeah, it still isn't working out for me. So. Aw. I don't know about you, but I had some crushes growing up. Yeah. Damn straight. Absolutely. <laughs> Like, I don't, I don't think you could be human and not have crushes. Right. Still have like, crushes. Yeah. Like everybody does. Doesn't Innocent crushes what, though. Like, just, I mean. Yeah. It's not like we're like following them or anything like, and when I say follow, like, oh my gosh, they're going to be in this location. We gotta go <laughs> oh God, them, or, like, no. Stalk them or anything. No, no. Hell no. No. Yeah. yeah. Like, if they're at a convention or something, okay, yeah, I'd go see them and meet them. Hell yeah. If they're performing, doing a concert, hell yeah. But it's not, like... It's not oh an obsessive, God, like, this... creepy yeah. type obsession of... And I will say that some of my crushes that I'm... That I have on my list are... They're kind of... Some of them are more of, like, people I, w I was obsessed with as a kid. Like, I, I loved what they did and everything. I wouldn't have really mm -hmm. said that growing up at that time, I was, like, crushing on them. It was more just I admired them. They they were really good in this movie or whatever it was, and I just wanted oh, to yeah. follow their whole career. It was more, more like that. I have some that were definitely crushes, but some of mine on my list are just more of that obsessed as a kid type feeling. And it was harder as a kid to do that, though, because... Mm -hmm. There wasn't the internet, yeah. so there wasn't IMDb to where you could just go on and find everything that they've been in. Mm -hmm. Like, honestly, that's been a, that website has been like a godsend for me. I know, yeah. I'm on it almost every single day. If I'm watching something, I'm on it mm -hmm. because I'm like, okay, what, what else? else have they fucking done it? <laughs> <laughs> exactly yeah what else can i dig up from their past and go and watch and what haven't i seen of theirs or it's always fun yeah. finding those movies or shows that aren't as widely known and kind of tuning into them just to kind of keep watching to see what they do you know and, and watching everything that they've done um that's kind of yeah. how it is with me for a lot of people and i feel like now there's probably a difference in who I would say I crush on versus like as a kid growing up. A lot of them are still the same. I think I'm still, I'm still obsessed with all of them in a, almost the same way, but I, I don't know. Do, do you feel like the people on your list, were they ones that were more your age or were they older than you? So most of them were probably older. Okay. Um. Actually, yeah, I think all of them really were because... Again, I was just, I, I was born in 91, so, like, most of them were yeah. mid to early 80s mm -hmm. or before. And so it was one of those things where looking back at my crushes from then, there are some that do still translate as an adult. Mm -hmm. But, I mean, Alex and I were just talking about this. I think I mentioned it to you that the other day was like one of my one of the biggest movies I've absolutely loved and went down that IMDb rabbit hole <laughs> um constantly was the Lord of the Rings trilogy uh, yeah for me when I first watched it when it first came out it was Orlando Bloom as Legolas a hundred percent okay 
but like as I've gotten as I've become an adult that's transitioned to Viggo Mortensen's character Mm. Aragorn it's it is interesting to see a progression right and looking back and going like oh my gosh I I had a crush on that person right yeah yeah I feel this yeah I feel the same way about some stuff that I've kind of watched like rewatch now as an adult I kind of now Mm -hmm. focus a lot more on maybe the adult characters and kind of like the parent trap like I love Lindsay Lohan everything but I rewatching it now I'm more fascinated with Elaine and her character and so I remember Mm -hmm. you know as I got older and kind of understood more about her and kind of other stuff she'd done I started watching more of the things that she was doing so yeah, it definitely changes for as me, you get it's, older. It's Meredith. Meredith, like absolutely. Meredith. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was, I, you know, I became obsessed with her later on once I was like, well, heck, it's not just about the, you know, the twins. Like, look at her. She's freaking amazing. And she's a badass. She was oh, yeah. hot. Like, yeah, hell yeah. Oh, yeah, absolutely. And just seeing the progressions and everything. And I mean, it's interesting just kind of looking back. And even now, like looking back at the crushes, we had who were child actors or mm. musicians at the time mm. and now looking at them now and are they still doing stuff okay are they, if they are right. how they've progressed so that's always that's always interesting too so we're doing a top 10 right you got 10 you got a top 10 or uh, there are no specific order oh, that's fine yeah i, I, I do you have like my number one okay. as a kid, which I will say for number one, but everyone else is just them... kind of grouped together as a whole of, yeah. and we're doing like women and men where we're combining them all into this top list of crushes. However many it ends up being, I'll be curious to see if we have any that are the same. I, I honestly feel like we probably won't maybe one or two, but I'm, I kind of mm-hmm. think we're going to be very different on our lists so (laughs) it'll be interesting because we may also like have people on our list that like if i say somebody and you might be like oh my god i forgot about them oh i'm sure and vice Mm -hmm. versa yeah yeah and it's it's it was hard because just trying to make sure we cut off at that that 90s because we're we're 90s noise so right not like letting the 2000s creep into yeah and there's it. plenty that could have because obviously i feel yeah. like the early 2000s where both of us were very impressionable because getting mm-hmm. into those high school years and everything things change but yeah <laughs> okay all right so why don't you start it yeah off? okay so my first one that i'm gonna throw out there i'll be really surprised if you've ever heard of him but he is a country Hi. singer which i know you weren't big into country and I'm not right. I'm not anymore, but I was in the nineties. <laughs> um, but Clay Walker. I've heard of the name. I, so, I didn't okay. listen to him or anything, but I have heard of the name. I couldn't tell you a, a single song of his, like by name. Yeah. What is one of his songs? Yeah. Yeah. So like his biggest hit was Rumor Has It. And I had the cassette tape and I don't know. I, I just remember I was like obsessed with him and I just you know, crushing as a mm-hmm. little kid. Cause I think I want to say it kind of came out like 96 um, ish, 96, 97, that time period is when that song was, okay. was big. So I'm sure I like saw the music video and everything and just was like, Oh my gosh. Like, <laughs> so that's the one I remember yeah. for sure. I don't even know that he really did much after that. Like, I think that was kind of his big claim to fame. And then that was all I remember from him was that one song. Okay, okay, I I can I understand that. I definitely do understand that. So my first one on here that I can remember, he wasn't really I guess a '90s person, but um, I obviously I watched the movie in the '90s. Mm. Ike Eisman. And we actually were just talking about this because he was over in the Orlando area doing a special event last weekend, but he Hmm. was in the escape to Witch Mountain and return to Witch Mountain. And those were, I'm talking about the 70s 
versions. Right. And you, he was he like a little yeah, kid, you was said, the right? Boy in okay. It. And okay. he was probably one of my very first crushes. <laughs> oh, yeah. And I don't know if it was just my mom was watching the movies or what it was. I mean, it was on, it was a, I believe it was a Disney one. It would be on like the hmm. wonderful world of Disney. What they would do, okay. they would show movies like, what was it, every Friday or Sunday? The wonderful world of Disney on ABC would always show mm. movies and they would do the witch mountain ones as a little kid i just had a massive crush on them like i said not to be confused with the reboot they tried to do in the 90s with the guy from brink that was actually yeah like i said probably my first first like actual crush like when my when i told my mom he was going to be over in orlando and she was like that was the first words out of her mouth was Oh, you had a big crush on him when you were a little girl. I was like, I know, I remember. <laughs> hey, shh, don't tell this my <laughs> secrets, mom. <laughs> oh, I love that. So another one on my list, which we've already talked about him before, you know, obviously Luke Perry from 90210, probably one of, yeah, more of the earlier crushes that would have developed. And yeah, he was way older than me and so that wasn't at all yeah. anything like that it was I don't know I guess it probably was stemmed more from my mom liking him my sister probably kind of liking him and so I just that's who they liked oh me too and you know just thought he was cute and you know loved him on mm -hmm. 90210 but the thing is is I can't really say that I followed him after that like I don't remember ever watching him in anything else really like it, it wasn't one of those obsession type things where I was like oh he, he was in this oh and he's also in in this and let me follow him I, I don't feel like he did anything else that I really watched him in so it kind of just ended in the 90s but that's, that's okay that's okay that's, 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 okay. that's okay you know <laughs> another one of mine which we haven't really discussed much on 90s noise yet but you and i have personally talked about it, but matthew lawrence definitely mm, okay. the lawrence brothers yeah, so was it only matt it was only matt okay i i didn't watch mrs doubtfire as much as a lot of people did i saw a couple of times but my first introduction to him was uh brotherly love I okay. Mm -hmm. Absolutely yeah. loved that show. Just was very intrigued by him, and then to see him later on in Boy Meets World just mm. added to it. Mm -hmm. was like seeing him progress. I did right. follow him a lot after the Boy Meets World and Disney phase because he was then also he was also in a uh, Jumping Ship with his brothers. I don't remember that. Joey and Andy had done a decom movie called Horse Sense, and then they right. did a sequel called Jumping Ship that uh -huh. then brought Matt into okay. it. Huh. Okay. Interesting. Yeah, I remember Matt from some things, and I do remember yeah. Joey, you know, having a lot of things going on i don't feel like i ever crushed on either of them but they both you know they're all super talented and definitely have done i know they popped up in a lot of things that i've watched over the years and i'm like yeah. oh yep i Absolutely. know them so that's for always sure. cool <laughs> okay so another one from my list is kevin zegers oh, i think i'm Zegers. saying his last name right Okay, oh, girl, you I know. know. <laughs> I know. Oh, yeah. So he kind of, I think his big start um, or big claim to fame was the Air Bud yes. movies. Uh, obviously obsessed mm -hmm. with those. And then he later went on and did, he was in a couple, I don't know if he, how many seasons he was in, but he did Gossip Girl That's for a little while. Right. And I remember loving that he kind of came back into the spotlight because I feel like he wasn't really doing a whole lot of bigger stuff and then he did that and i'm like yes kevin's yes. back so uh, yeah i've always kind of loved so, him as an actor he's on my list also hey he... <laughs> and he like you said he did Airbud 
he did the first three and then came back for like the fourth for like a small little but he like you said he kind of he did fade a little bit he did what was it oh my gosh this is gonna drive me crazy i think he was he was in some like a kind of a horror movie if i remember correctly if i know what you're talking about wrong no, turn it wasn't that one dawn of the dead I think Apollo. it was Dawn of the Dead that I might be thinking of. I don't think I saw that. I'm not, I don't know. Maybe. Yeah. It was Dawn of the Dead that I was thinking, I <gasps> oh, think I'm thinking of. Oh. Oh. Did you ever see that movie? Ah, oh, that's where I remember he kind of popped back up too. He he was in Frozen. Have you ever watched that movie? Not no, Frozen. I know, I know what you're talking about. It's a about. movie called I, Frozen. I know which one you're talking about. I. Okay. No. I don't that... believe I did. That movie is fucking so good. I love, love, okay. love, love that movie. So yeah, that I that's a really good one. I remember that movie back on the shelf at Blockbuster so many times because I just remember I remember the the title, like the cover of it and everything. But mm -hmm. for me, he had come like back into play. He was in movie the. Mortal Instruments, City of Bones. Yeah, that was another and one he did. Mm -hmm. So that one, when I heard he was going to be in that, I was really excited because he really hadn't done a lot of the mainstream. But then right. we actually, when we were watching the show Fear the Walking Dead, he comes back into play. He's in mm. about six episodes of that. That was, yeah, he was definitely... He did an episode of Goosebumps, which I'm going to have to watch that. That's kind of... Yeah, I remember that funny. one. Uh, he was... I'll have to see if I remember that I remember that, that one because I also read that book, or that specific story. Mm. He also did a music video. I don't. Do you remember that music video that he did with Miley Cyrus? The Big yes. Bang. Yes, I remember watching. That shit I was good. Watching that and going, is that? I actually like bought the music video when, yes. when I you know with through iTunes. I was like, I'm buying this shit. I gotta watch it again. <laughs> I actually did that. <laughs> oh. Yeah, I remember because I like searched for that on YouTube and everything mm. i was like oh my gosh because i'm like i was thinking i was like miley cyrus and kevin zaggers like that was before her right? time but then i'm like wait she's only a year younger than me so she would have grown up with some of the same shit too so she probably was like oh kevin zaggers like the guy from mm. airbud <laughs> yeah i wonder if she had yeah the similar yeah. connection as that is that oh, zaggers i i've always pronounced it zaggers I, I, I don't know. It could that... very well be. Yeah, Kevin, Kevin Z. Z. I'm just going to say Kevin Z. Yeah. You just have to find an interview where he pronounces his name. Or and... somebody does, and if they say it wrong, get they... it yeah. correctly. Yeah, I don't trust anybody unless it's them saying it. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> There's been so many butcherings of names, it's like, eh. Mm -hmm. Oh, I completely understand. Actually, my next one. Oh, nope forgot to get double check the year on that one so i can't i can't bring that one into play because it was 2000 damn it oh i got a 2000 you got 2000 who's your 2000 did they do anything in the 90s though they did but like or was it, their first thing 2000s it wasn't really much. that's okay okay as long as they were present in the 90s doing something okay all right i, <laughs> I, I feel like that's okay because I, I have like two <laughs> yeah i like i like that um that rule because <laughs> Yeah, so I'm I'm gonna bring in our first uh, our first female, Hayden Pan. Okay, another one that we can't I can't pronounce the last name. Forgive me, uh, Pantiera, I think. Hayden. Huh. Hayden. Oh, Hayden Panettiere. Yeah. That I think, yeah, Hayden Panettiere. I think is what it is. Yeah. Our scream girl. Our scream girl. Hayden. I love Hayden. I I forgot. I honestly forgot to. To add her to my list. She, she so was she, definitely a big... Yeah, she was. She did do some things, a few things in the 90s, but she really didn't do, like, didn't hit until her right. Remember the Titans in 2000. 
I couldn't remember if that mm-hmm. movie was 2000 or 99. And that was kind of her big introduction to the Start, world. Start, yeah. Because yeah. most everybody saw that movie. I said most everybody. I, no, no, I've seen it. I'm just saying I feel like, yeah, it was one of those movies that they played in school because it was like G-rated or whatever, you know, like you could yeah. always play it or something. But yeah. I don't feel like I remember her from that, but she was. I think um, my biggest nope. connection with her is Heroes. So mine is it was that that was the first thing. Then she was in a she was in like one or two DComs Disney Channel roof original movies before mm-hmm. Heroes. Mm-hmm. One she did with her little brother, um, who actually just passed away. Oh really? Yeah. Oh. Uh, some medical situations and everything but yeah and then once she got into heroes then it was like okay yeah I I really do like her and everything she did some singing too I loved her singing honestly Mm -hmm. yeah because I think she did a song because she was also an ice princess in like 2004 or something like that Mm -hmm. and she also did that movie with the zebra racing too. stripes i think it was racing stripe mm-hmm. yeah. yeah she was i think she was probably <laughs> one of the first people who i wanted to see something because she was in it okay yeah that makes sense i was like oh she's in it okay we gotta go see it that kind of thing definite girl crush on that one for sure oh heck yeah yeah i love her mm-hmm. still do same same, same. It's kind of taking a back seat, I, I feel like, and really only kind of popped back in with the Scream stuff. Yeah, so she had been doing Nashville for a while, and I know that there's been uh, some... That's, oh, yeah, she did do Nashville. Yeah, there's been some private situ- private things going on with her that's kind of kept her, I think, out of mm-hmm. doing things entertainment-wise, which, bless her heart for everything she's been through and stuff i i do hope she is gonna start coming back Mm -hmm. yeah i do too i mean because her fans are still there we're still here for her we we would love to see her keep keep doing stuff for sure so all right so since you threw out a girl i'm gonna throw out my kind of one of my first girl crutches kirsten dunce from bring it on yes absolutely yes. obsessed with her when that movie came out and obviously she did a ton of stuff in the 90s i didn't oh, yeah. really pay attention to a lot of that stuff until really? later on in life but okay bring it i mean yeah i don't know i don't i obviously watch a lot of it now but i feel like the first movie that i really saw her in and was like wow this girl's amazing was bring it on i feel like that is what kind of set it for me <laughs> i definitely understand she wasn't on my list but um I definitely know where you're coming from I always like my first introduction to her was Jumanji and Jumanji I yeah you're right I forgot then like when bring it on came but you didn't con- but you didn't really connect the dots yeah. you know what I mean like yeah you saw her as a little kid and like, oh, like she's cute yeah her character on in Jumanji was like kind of annoying e- exactly yeah, um, but you then, weren't like, like hooked on her in that movie. Like, wow, let me follow yeah. her career. Yeah, and then seeing her and bring it on, it's like, wait, that's the same person. Holy shit! Yeah, it is. yeah. So right, exactly. I mean, she, yeah, she did, it, and she's done a, a ton of stuff, and I, she's still amazing. I, mm-hmm. I'm definitely still on my list even now as an actress that I love to follow. You know, if she's in the movie, great, I'm watching it. You know, I don't care what it is. Oh, yeah. <laughs> For sure. All right. Another one of mine is going to have to be Ryder Strong from Boy Meets World. Okay. I, I like that choice. I had almost put him on my list too, but I was kind of getting too many at that point. So I'm like, no, <laughs> <laughs> got to cut it at some point. <laughs> I completely understand. I really enjoyed his character on that and that it wasn't the typical... Mm-hmm. main character i guess you really hadn't seen right. much of somebody like that on tv at least in a family oriented S- sitcom type yeah. thing yeah and just the things yeah, he, he was, was going rebel. through was it just mm-hmm. made you feel for him yeah 
Yeah. Oh, absolutely. Have you followed him, though, after Boys, Boys, so Boy he, Meets World? Yeah. So he was in, I think it was Cabin Fever. He kind of did mm -hmm, the same thing. He was thing. in that. Yeah. He kind of did the same thing Kevin did. And after getting True. out of yeah. the child actor roles, mm -hmm. wanted to go to the complete other extreme. Yeah. And yeah. I did watch that. I really didn't mm -hmm. follow anything in between that and his reprising Sean on Girl Meets World. But yeah, I, I kind of do wish when he was at MegaCon a few years ago, I'd gone and met him. But I just, there were so many that year that it was hard to break up my time. <laughs> and so it was, it, it that was a crazy year. <laughs> so yeah, he seems like a pretty cool guy. Yeah. yeah. Maybe we'll get lucky and get to meet him. Maybe. Fingers crossed. <laughs> You're awesome. I'm Okay, so Jennifer Love Hewitt. Yeah. Gotta love her. Gotta Got love her. to love her. Absolutely obsessed with her. I still follow her career. Obviously, everyone knows I know what you did last summer. That was like my first introduction to her. And then she did a movie. It was in 2001. So I'm like, okay, it's not 90s, but Heartbreakers. I don't know if you ever saw that movie. <laughs> Fucking I got a funny story on that one. Okay, yes. <laughs> <laughs> I can't remember if we went to go see it when it came out for my birthday or if it was just a random movie. That movie day. for your birthday in 2001? You were 10. <laughs> That's not a 10-year-old movie. <laughs> what the hell? They're exactly. like chopping off dicks and shit. <laughs> I, I feel like it might have just been a mother-daughter movie type thing. I can't, it, it right. just, it, it's one of those things I can't remember exactly when it came, like when in the year it came out, but I just remember my mom was like, okay, because like I had seen PG-13 movies before, most of the right. time it was more action-y and stuff like that because it was with, it was because my brothers, but that one, I think my mom kind of was like, okay, I may need to pre-screen some of these movies before taking her at this time. Yeah. She never did, but... I was looking to see what the rating even is on that. So it was uh, PG-13 for sex-related content, okay. and including dialogue. Yeah. Okay. Definitely. But, uh, yeah, I love that movie. I still rewatch it all the time. And then, of course, she did Ghost Whisper, which was, oh, like, yes. one of me and my mom's favorite TV shows. Love, love, love that TV show. And now she's doing 911, which I also... Yes. Absolutely love that show. And she had also done Criminal Minds. She was in a season of Criminal mm. Minds. Enjoyed her on that. It was good to see her in that aspect. And she's done some singing too in the past. She which did. I yeah. never which is kind of I never really got into that side of her, but I know that she definitely took that role very seriously and did do some of that for sure. And I think that's kind of almost how she started was on some show where she was singing and dancing mm -hmm. type thing, but mm -hmm. it's, yeah. But yes, I'll always love her. Yes. I don't know what number we're at, but we're probably going to have more than 10 at this point because a few, this is, this is reminding me of a few others that I'm like, oh yeah. Ooh. Next up on my list is Paul Walker. Okay. So. What did you remember him from? Well, 1999, She's All That. I forget. I honestly don't feel like I've seen that movie since 1999. Like I don't. I can't even picture him in that movie. So he's that... he's the one who makes who bets Freddie Prince's character. It's the two of them, and because oh, really um, they're like best friends and everything. When Freddie's character is like who's bigger than who kind of thing when mm. they're getting ready to make that bet it but it's Paul Walker and so like Paul Walker's the one his character is the one that actually takes Lanny to prom oh. and everything okay. because of the whole her finding out about the bet right he's an asshole in that movie he really is oh yeah <laughs> he's a completely <laughs> an utter asshole but I mean it's it's Paul Walker and like those right eyes were just one of those I you just get drawn into that mm -hmm. and he is one that I did follow throughout his career okay. and everything and enjoyed because he did a lot more of the actiony stuff and so that was kind of more up my alley than 
the rom coms. The rom coms and everything. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So probably well, this is like the only crush that my mom for some reason can remember and but from in seeing Chris Kirkpatrick. He he was like my all time crush for some reason. I don't know. You know, everyone gravitated towards JC and Justin, but oh, yeah. for some reason I gravitated towards Chris. Don't know what it was at that age that spoke to me, but I was obsessed with him. And I had the luck to actually meet him. Of course, you know, I probably didn't say a damn thing to him as a kid, you know, because you're all like, like, oh my God, I'm finally getting to meet my crush. Oh my you know, gosh. I think this, I think I was. 12 so i saw I think, yeah i think i, I was 12 but i met a picture you put on our patreon of you and lance yeah and i was about yeah. I was so i meant to ask I'm... you about that and i have a and it's gone now i can't freaking find it but i had a picture of me and chris because i got to take a picture with him and lance in the orlando airport of all fucking places they're just hanging out in the you know where everyone's sitting at the gate because they could do that back in the day yeah so i think four of them were there somebody wasn't there and i forget which one it who it was i think jc was there it may have been joey that wasn't there but like um i really only wanted to like meet chris and lance i think justin was there and they're like justin's not He's not meeting anyone. Like, you couldn't even approach him. <laughs> so, Jeez. you know, typical. But, yeah, that that freaking made my my day, getting to meet him. And then, so, you know, of course, we're all, we are all going to Las Vegas. So we're all on the same flight. And we're sitting, you know, way in the fucking back. Yeah. They're in the front. And my mom, of course, has this brilliant idea. idea. She's like, oh, let's let's ask them for tickets. Let's see if we can get tickets to their show because I guess they were performing there. So she freaking writes a note on a barf bag, gives it to the flight attendant, and is like, here, can you go and deliver them? I'm like, are you kidding me right now, mom? Like, this is what we're doing? I don't I know if they ever got mom. it or not, but... I love your like... mom. Okay. That is so fucking hilarious she's like we're gonna try to get tickets of course you know it was all sold out or whatever so they yeah. claimed uh, but i'm <laughs> like well oh my God. we tried <laughs> that is so fucking hilarious i love it absolutely love it oh my gosh that, uh, that's just but so yeah funny. i would love to to meet any of them now as an adult i still yeah. would love to re-meet them i should say absolutely mm. yeah i I think I told you when Chris and Joey were doing the seven seas thing at SeaWorld, somebody was posting mm. videos. I'm like, yeah. why the hell did Chris not have more solos? Like he was doing I know. Justin mm -hmm. and JC's parts. Yeah. At the, when they were. At, he was good. Yeah. I'm like, and I was like thinking, I'm like, I know why. Cause it doesn't matter how good your voice is. If you're, you don't have the quote unquote look that they're going mm -hmm. for and everything. Exactly. And he he was, didn't have the front man look. Yeah, and he was he was the oldest one of them. Because he was yeah. like ten years older than Justin. I Yeah. NSYNC, yeah. I was a huge yeah. NSYNC fan and everything. That was my first concert. But and so like I knew I could tell Me you too. Yeah. I could tell you at one time, like all of their their exact birthdays and where they were born and all this and mm, that. Oh yeah, I remember Joey and Justin and I think JC are all January birthdays. That's the best I got. Hey, well, that's more than I remember. I, I know huh. that Justin Justin's ten years older than me. He was eighty one because I do okay. remember that. But otherwise, yeah, I couldn't tell you really much else about <laughs> oh. oh man so since since we're talking the, the this boy band phase justin was definitely i went for the front front man on that one i had <laughs> a massive crush on him my brothers told me that they were coming to town to kansas city this was 1999 and they were going to be in Kansas City on April 1st, 1999, which was the day before my birthday. My mom already had a prior commitment with my brothers. And so it was mm. just going to be my me and my dad at home that night anyway. They told me this, I think it was probably like the 26th or 27th of March. 
they'd heard it on the radio. I spent the next four days begging my dad, begging. Like when I say begging, I mean, I was like on my knees, like, I'll clean my room. I'll make sure it's clean for a whole week. Like all this, like <laughs> pr these promises and everything. Because I went to my mom. She's like, I would take you, but I already have these prior commitments mm. with your brother. Oh, man. So I think my mom probably helped talk my dad into him. And nice. it was, I still remember bits and pieces of it. Like I still can like really? have memories from it. Tatiana Ali who played mm -hmm. Ashley in Fresh Prince was opening for them. I remember huh. I wanted a shirt and I wanted just, I wanted Justin's shirt. Well, my dad was like, why don't you get one with all of them on it? Kind of thing. I was like, but Justin's my favorite. And he's like, it would be later on and everything. Your favorite may change. I was like, okay, fine. So I'd gotten like the typical in sync, like their group, their shot. group shot. Yeah. And as we were leaving, the buses pulled out in front of us and Joey was leaning up against the back of the window and I could see, I saw him. So I was like, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. But uh, that's hilarious. That's the closest I've gotten to sync in that manner. <laughs> that's it on that one. Oh, so. I love it. So uh, the next one I'm throwing out, I'm going to say Mary Kate and Ashley. Okay. Most, mostly Ashley obviously for me but probably yeah one of my top like kitty type crushes you know same age type thing obsessed with them we could go on and on and on but <laughs> we've already talked that that that's gonna work they will have a, right. a whole episode dedicated to them because of their influence and everything mm -hmm. i'm gonna add to that you for you is Ashley for me it was Mary Kate was probably in a sense one of I guess in a, a girl crush in a sense like that where mm -hmm. it wasn't necessarily like oh I want to date her or anything like that right but it was a I guess infatuation is the best term yeah. for it like I want to um, be her <laughs> yeah like <laughs> I legitimately realized just in the last week or so how much of an impact and how much I was I tried to emulate her. I had just gotten a new bag, bag from Shea Mitchell's line. Mm. And how they have it set up is you can put your key like put your keys on the little hook inside. And hmm. I was wearing it how I always wear bags. I've always wear worn like purses since I can remember, like over my right shoulder. Okay. Okay. Well, this bag I'd started doing that. I was like, this is a pain in the ass. Like I have to have the, the zippers down at the bottom of it to get the keys out and everything. And then shit falls out because it's a crossbody. <laughs> and then I got to thinking, I'm like, you know, this is made more for like a right-handed person who would have it most most likely over their left shoulder mm. because if you're right-handed the majority right. of right-handed people want their bags on their right hip so they can easily reach on that kind of thing and since i wanted to emulate mary kate so much i did everything i could including like in our lips are sealed when they're walking down before going to the theme park when they had their bags and everything mm -hmm. that was one of the first ones where like i it's yeah great ingrained hers is over her right shoulder ashley's is over mm -hmm. her left yeah. and so i've always done over my right that's that's kind of funny that you mentioned that because i always do everything over my left side but i'm left-handed mm -hmm. and that makes no fucking sense to me as you're explaining. I'm like, why do I do that? But it's because Ashley did it the <laughs> Wow. I'm right That here is too. fucking yeah. wild. Because <laughs> so, like I did, I literally was, I, I was, I was like, why the, like, this is ridiculous. Cause that, that strap thing that has the hook isn't removable. Like it's sewn into the mm. bag. And, it, and stuff. And I was, I was like, this is ridiculous. Like every time I'm opening this, I have to like oh. hold my hand there. So shit doesn't fall out. And then it just clicked wow. of 
the reasoning and I'm like, I mean, that's why, like, for the majority, I wear shit on, like, bracelets and watches on my right wrist and Mm. everything, too, because of the infatuation I had with her. That's crazy. And it's like those little things that you're like, oh, I'm going to do it that way. But you don't really, you're not really thinking, like, that how that is translating and affecting. And it's like, it doesn't really make sense, but they did it that way. So, of course, you're going to. Exactly. Yeah, that works for them. It has to work for me, right? Exactly. (laughs) Not, like understand it and actually our lips are sealed is the movie that my dad pointed out he's like oh she's a lefty uh mary kate and because of the boomerang scene mm -hmm. yeah and everything and so that was the first time that even like really was pointed out to me that she wasn't right-handed then of course it just i just went into a spiral and everything like trying to be a lefty (laughs) and stuff because i wanted to be like her but Oh my gosh. Yeah. Like I, I love that. We'll we'll do a lot more of a deep dive later on. Oh yeah. Who else do you got? Who else do I got? So this one is so we're gonna kinda go back into the boy band portion here. Ooh. Ninety eight degrees, Drew Lachey. Okay. Is he in a, is was he the lead singer? He was of Nick's, 98? Nick is the Nick and Jeff are the main singers. And Drew is Nick's brother. Okay. Um, he's like the shorter See, I one. never really got into 98 Degrees, so I don't really know like too much about them. Yeah. So as a child, a kid, I really liked Drew. As an adult, mm. I still listen to 98 Degrees and I've seen them perform a f- numerous times um, as an adult. And right. honestly, my like focus in instead of drew which like is now like jeff who like i said him and nick were the lead singers but that's kind of how like your crushes change and everything yeah on that yeah. one i don't know if it was like the backwards baseball cap or something that because he always because drew always wore a backwards baseball cap that was hmm. you know how like justin had the curly hair slash the fro chris had the mm-hmm. like dread type crazy crazy hair, hair. Yep. drew lachey's big thing was baseball cap backwards baseball cap like for the first like five years that 98 degrees was on the oh, scene well wow. something about it that yeah. april was like yep. that's mine like, hey. <laughs> <laughs> oh i love that um okay so david gallagher do you okay. know who that uh, is i know who that is i'm actually a little surprised that okay. you do i didn't think you watched seventh heaven i didn't think you watched seventh heaven. hell yeah I you don't remember when we were doing that episode I, the thing that live before and I mentioned Seventh Heaven as no, I remember one of my mentioning it but I thought like I guess I guess it didn't like click that like you yeah, yeah, yeah. actually watched yeah. it yeah I, I did I I, I love that show and he he was in that so obviously that was mm-hmm. a big one but he also did Richie Rich's Christmas okay which that christmas wish love that movie and then also in 2001 he did a movie called little secrets that i think kind of made me become even more Mm -hmm. obsessed with him but then i say that but then again after that i don't think i ever saw him in anything else but yeah he's that movie i have re uh, re rewatched so many times not recently, but for most of my childhood, once it came out, I rewatched the shit out of that movie. I absolutely loved that movie. Yeah. Did you, did you ever see that movie? I honestly can't say that I have to, you said it was Little Secrets, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's really cute. I love that movie. It's good. No, but I do remember it. I remember always seeing the DVDs whenever we'd go to rent mm. movies and everything. Mm-hmm. No, I I never I don't think I ever actually watched that. Yeah, I think just kind of gravitating towards him a lot because we're the same age. So, mm-hmm. you know, he's one of those that you're at that same age level, so you're like, "Oh, okay, there's someone you can kind of look at differently and see and it's not all of these like older men, you know, mm-hmm. boy bands and stuff like that. They're they're older than you." So, mm-hmm. it's it's a different type of crush. But yeah, he was I don't and I don't know. They just that's that's what I remember him from, and I can't say that he's done much lately, though, that I have any clue of yeah. what he's doing now. Me neither. So my 
next one, and I don't know if you ever watched on Disney Channel, Lee Thompson Young. Famous... Lee Thompson Young? Yes, from the famous Jet Jackson. I did watch that show. He was the main main guy on it. You were, he's a, oh, he's a main guy. Oh, okay. Yes. Oh, yes. all right. Yes. He, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He did Rizzoli and Isle, which I yes. love that show. Yes, until um, his passing. Yeah. Oh, man. But, I feel like he, he's one that gets forgotten about because he did have, like, an early start, you know, in doing stuff yeah. way back when. And... I, I remember I loved watching The Famous Joe Jackson. Like, I loved watching that show. Mm-hmm. And Hell yeah. then, like, you didn't see him on my, anything for a little while. Then suddenly, we were watching. I just, my mom had been watching Rizzoli and Isles. And I just walked in. And I hadn't really watched it at all with her. I walked in. And I'm like, that's Jeff Jackson. And she's like, what? <laughs> and I go, that's the yeah. same actor. And that was, I think, one of the first ra- times that, like, it really hit me when somebody had past and how they had passed because I had grown up with mm. him and right. everything. He was always a very good looking guy. Always. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. He definitely left us too soon. And it, mm-hmm. you know, it is sad when people that you grow up with like that and you're this basically the same age and and that happens, but he definitely the stuff that he was in, I mean he was amazing for sure. Definitely. Disney to Disney, my one of my top crushes was Ryan Merriman. I was wondering if fucking, that was going to be brought up. Fucking I... obsessed, like legit, no joke, obsessed mm-hmm. with him. Luck of the Irish, watched that so many times, even though it's probably the stupidest movie, honestly. But he was in it, and I'm like, I'm watching it. I don't care. Did I send <laughs> you the video the other day? Yes, of him dancing. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yes. Yes. Of, yes. Of the uh, going back to Smart House Dave. Oh my God. Yes. Yes. That is hilarious. I, I need to rewatch Smart House. Honestly, I have not seen that since the 90s either. Mm-hmm. But that was a really good one as that, well. That was. I did like him on Luck of the Irish. I mean, he was a year or two older and everything. Mm hmm. And so he had, he was, he was still a little kid, like very young right. in smart house. And exactly. then mm-hmm. like luck of the Irish, he had had like a, his growth spurt and stuff. And then to growth see spurt. Him, yeah. then for him to come into pretty little liars. Oh my God. I was, <laughs> I was like, I don't think I would have probably watched that show if he wasn't in it. I honestly really? think that's why I tuned in and I'm glad I did because it's an amazing show, but I think knowing he was going to be in it. I'm like, hell yeah, I'm going to watch. And then, of course, he didn't last very long, but um, I'm hooked at that point. But yeah, well, yeah I, I loved as... that he was in it. And he wasn't in the pilot. He wasn't right. that character. Like, they mm-hmm. have a flashback and everything, and it wasn't him. And so, I know. Oh, I always... know. That was a little fucked up. But <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, they did that with I'm uh, glad they went with him. <laughs> with the uh, Jasons, uh, the brother also Allie's brother mm. in the first season it's a different mm. actor and then um drew came in later on which i do think was a a good choice oh yeah yeah but he's definitely one of those that i followed him like i watched a lot of his stuff and he's done a lot of like lesser known movies and whatnot mm-hmm. but i have definitely watched most of what he's been in just for the you know sheer fact that i was obsessed with him as a kid and i wanted to to keep up with what he did yeah absolutely so you're gonna probably have no idea who this person is but (laughs) another female her name is uh courtney draper and so she she did some acting in for disney she did a couple of decoms she was in uh the 13th year Mm. and the uh stepsister from planet weird did you ever watch that one? That was a that was a kooky movie. I do remember. Yeah. Okay, I know who you're she, talking about. She's yeah, the dark haired mm-hmm. one. And so, yeah, um, she was also in the show called The Jersey, which I loved. There was like four main characters. Uh, she was the only girl, and then there, she was like best friends with three guys, and they had this 
like old school jersey that when you put it on you were like transported to an athlete from the past and were playing like as them and stuff it was it was a very interesting concept i think i remember seeing some of that that does yeah that's familiar to me. I do feel like I remember her putting that jersey on and doing, yeah. Yeah. And being like in a body of like a guy and yeah, exactly. sort of, and yeah. I, I you know. loved her in that because she was very sporty and not the typical girly mm -hmm. girl. And yeah. So I really resonated with that. And then actually, I didn't know this until I was listening to the commentary, but she has a cameo in Sleepover. Brie Larson, I think I remember Sarah her Paxton. in that, yeah. She is the girl at the dance that goes and asks the... She was born in Orlando, Florida. Was she? Mm -hmm. Well, I'm not surprised with the Florida child labor laws. Most of those shows, that's why Nickelodeon was down here. Disney did a lot of their stuff mm -hmm. down here too. Yeah. Because of that. Okay, so my next crush, which I, I didn't crush on him really until later on in life, but he did a lot of stuff in the 90s. Um. Devin Sawa from yes. Final Destination. Okay, you're pointing him out from that, but I mainly remember him from Little Giant. Okay, yeah, he did. Yeah, he wasn't that. I, mm -hmm. I personally don't think I ever watched that. I never really had any entrance because it is like a sportsy yeah. type movie, right? But it's got the dad yeah. from uh, Honey, I Shrunk the Kids. Oh, really? Rick's in it? Yeah, he's in it. He's <laughs> and so is Alexa Vega. Mm hmm. Be little bit little Alexa Vega. That was like a what a mid nineties movie. Ninety four. Ninety four. I just okay. looked it up. So, yeah, yeah. I I mostly remember him from Final Destination, and I've watched him and other stuff here and there. Funny story that I have about this, which I I, I think only one person I've ever told in my life this story. But it's just fucking hilarious but okay so back in the day i want to say it was like 2003 maybe mm -hmm. back you know when the a you know aol had those chats those chat rooms oh, aim yeah. and stuff all all that fun jazz hung out in those a lot oh yeah some that we weren't supposed to but <laughs> right <laughs> so i was in a chat room and i was side story just to like get it to back to this i was obsessed with this girl that um because i competed with horses and stuff so mm -hmm. i like showed my horses and whatnot and this girl i was obsessed with her i was obsessed with her horses i just thought she was beautiful and i loved everything that she did so then i was in this chat room and someone was like oh i'm i'm devin sawa and i'm like oh okay cool hi and he and so we got to chatting and he's like oh send me a picture or whatever so i sent him a picture of this girl not me i sent him a i took a picture of this girl that i was obsessed with and i sent it i'm like this is me and you know so i for, i don't remember the whole conversation we had but i just thought it was fucking hysterical that somebody it probably was not Devin. i, I guarantee it was probably not him yeah. maybe i maybe it was i don't know but just that someone was back then Person, you know, impersonating, impersonating somebody on this chat room, like, oh, I'm this person. But then I was also impersonating someone else, like, oh, this is me. This is my name. This is who I am. Look at me. <laughs> but I just always thought that was hilarious that that's who they chose. Yeah. And I, I don't know why they chose that person, why they chose Devin, but maybe it was actually him. Oh. 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 Yeah. Good old days in those chat rooms. Oh, yeah. For sure. My next one, and it's still to this day, Johnny Depp. Are we at the top of the list? No, we're not at the top of the list, actually. We're okay. Not. No. Okay. No, that that one is... is Johnny? Yeah, Johnny Depp. Johnny My Depp. My first memory of him was from the 1990 movie Crybaby. Really? Yes, that is like the first memory I like movie that I remember him being in. I don't know if they saw that movie. We'll have to go back and rewatch it, but it is. Yeah, I'm curious. I fucking still to this day love that movie. Mm. It is a very 50s movie. And hmm. again, it was one that I probably shouldn't have been watching at the age that I was, even though it was 
I don't think it was PG-13. I think it was just PG. But it was one of those that... Oh, it was at a time where they really weren't even rating the movies. <laughs> it just... No, oh, that's nice. Yeah, that'll be interesting. I'll have to see if I still have my DVD to see if it has it on there. It's a it's a pretty interesting cast, to say the least, of just who all was in it. But uh, just kind of for... To give you an idea, it also had Iggy Pop in it. Do you know who Iggy Pop is? Oh yeah, I know who that is. Okay. Very random. Okay. I absolutely love that movie. I saw, I think it was one of those where it had just randomly been on TV and I just was immediately drawn to Johnny Depp. I'm like, oh my gosh. And I, I love those kinds of movies, like those 50s musical type. Yeah, Johnny Depp. I mean, and even still to this day. I agree. Uh, yeah, he's he's amazing. Mm -hmm. I, I do love him myself. Um, okay, who's next? next on your so list. I have to go with our girl, Hilary Duff. Uh, she's okay. Yeah, she's mostly 2000s, but she, she was in Casper Meets Wendy, which I wasn't obsessed with her at that point. Mm -hmm. It was once she did Lizzie McGuire, but I you can't go wrong with Hilary. Like she's she's fucking gorgeous still yeah. is still amazing um still waiting for her next album oh my gosh, I know, right? <laughs> the next tour for give sure. me something girl yes absolutely <laughs> next for me on the female side is gonna honestly probably have to be christina aguilera mm. like oh yeah she oh, she's perfect oh she, i love her she was was gorgeous back in the 90s and still gorgeous to this day and her style i just i loved i've always loved how she does different things mm -hmm. honestly right. she doesn't she does not fit in a box yeah <laughs> and her voice is the voice is just a whole different story um, she's still one of those that i need to see I wanted in concert. Like I can't in, believe I haven't seen her. She was in Tampa back in like 2018, and I'm so pissed that I didn't come over here <laughs> to see her. Yeah, I I'm still so pissed about that because she doesn't tour much anymore. Right. She is well, one... yeah, and she had that residency in Vegas, and definitely should have went out there and seen her because it, that'll probably never happen again. I know. <laughs> Stupid. Stupid. <laughs> <laughs> all right who else you got are we getting close to the top for you how many how many you think you got left i've got at least probably three three okay including my so top. i got i think i got three i can spit out okay jtt okay can't go wrong with him yeah he's he was really big in the 90s obviously we all know i was obsessed with home improvement so he was the kid i gravitated towards and yeah even though he was like the shortest out of all of them and <laughs> definitely i would have towered over them but yeah. that one i have worked out but you know hey <laughs> I, I hear you i could see that i could see that for sure he'll always be simba to me what he'll all he's the voice of baby simba oh yeah he'll always be Hell simba yeah. to me mm -hmm. so these next three are actually people i've met mm -hmm. definitely have to put Ernie Reyes Jr. on the list. Surf Ninjas, which you'll see eventually once we get to that point. <laughs> yeah, I just I just thought it was super cool, like being able to do all the martial arts and everything. I yeah, he was he's definitely on my list from the nineties, for sure. Love that. Mm -hmm. So one of mine is Hanson. I mean the Hanson brothers they were a big musical group for me growing up in the 90s. I think Taylor's the youngest one, right? Zach. Zach. Whatever. <laughs> one of them. <laughs> I know you. Have you met them? I know you've seen them in concert. Yes. Quite a few times. Yeah. So I think, yeah. I think Zach was always kind of the one I, I liked the most mm -hmm. from them. I understand. I understand. Next for me, Kiefer Sutherland. It sounds weird and everything, but I... <laughs> Loved his character in Three Musketeers. I had a massive crush on him on that. And then, like, getting to meet him was like icing on the cake for that. 
like my what three musketeers came out when i was two two years old right <laughs> and i was obsessed april with was that. crushing as a baby <laughs> i was and yeah he's he's definitely on there for sure and he's still i've still followed him to this day like still enjoyed a lot of what he does mm -hmm. 24 was really loved him in that i haven't like stayed on top of his career but i i have kept up with it for sure so have you or not have you but did you have like posters and stuff in your room of any of your crushes or anyone that you liked growing up did, did oh, you yeah. have were you that one of those people that you did oh, yeah. <laughs> oh girl my you could not see the walls of my room because of how many posters i had really of my of all of my crushes and everything and i'm getting to my number one here so that's funny i never see i never did that i had like a huge like binder thing mostly like of all in sync stuff but mm -hmm. i never really put anything on my walls as far as actors or actresses and stuff the only time that i ever filled my wall inch by inch was with horse posters mm -hmm. at a certain age it was that's what it became but i never i never really did that typical guy posters on the wall thing so mine it wasn't necessarily just guys like i well right I girls just, guys yeah. yeah i i loved posters i would go anytime we'd go to walmart i'd always have to go to their little poster section and see what they had <laughs> and i would always get the magazines and get the posters out of the magazines and it was always uh -huh. it was always yep. so frustrating when they put for example they put I'd always had this issue. They put like would put like Jesse McCartney on one side and then Orlando Bloom on the other side. And I'm like, okay, who do I decide oh, to put yeah. up? Mm -hmm. Like, come on, like at least do it. Right. Guy, yeah. Girl kind of thing to where you have you could kind of choose <laughs> a little easier. But yeah, my my I got to the point, Ashley, I was having to put them on the ceiling because I couldn't nice. put them. <laughs> on the wall anymore that's how that's how full my wall was of posters of crushes now do you have do you have a picture of this i think i do i think i actually might have it here with me um in my box of photos uh i only have like a small box of photos that are very limited but i i did at a couple of times take pictures because some of those magazines if you like sent in a picture and everything they'd like put your put pictures in the magazines like i had actually oh gotten yeah a picture in a mat and i think it was m mm -hmm. magazine one time when i met uh jackson oh rathbone from twilight oh i was feet i was one of those meeting the celebrities or something like that where they put like put things but that's but yeah, funny. I'll have to I'll have to go through and see if I've got that if that is in the group of pictures I have here. All right, who else you got? Because we're coming up to my number one. I think I think we're at our top one, right? Yep. Are we at the? We're are at, we my, at our number we're at one, both one. of us. And then we can maybe do some honorable okay. mentions. I don't have any more. I went through all my honorables already. You already did. Okay. <laughs> this is it. This is my list. All right. All right. All right. <laughs> go ahead. Okay. So my top crush of the 90s <laughs> was eric von denton okay. from princess diaries from brink mm -hmm. from and he was a voice in toy story he was also in so weird he was so weird i uh, fucking loved him yeah he he unfortunately got out of acting too soon so i couldn't really follow him anymore but yeah anything that he did before that i just was obsessed with i absolutely i mean he was so cute i loved his hair like i don't know something about the hair yeah and the way it parted and his name was just so cool and you're like whoa like <laughs> so <laughs> i i understand he he's definitely an honorable mention him and um his best friend in brink who played the brother and so weird which i i found that interesting like they they oh, were oh, really yeah so the one oh my gosh so i the short 
haired one in Brink. So it was him. I haven't seen Brink in forever, yeah. girl. Uh -uh. <laughs> but that was one of those first times where it was like, oh, people working together because they played it together and so weird and Brink. But, but he, yeah, definitely honorable mentions for me. But for my number one, you already mentioned, but he's definitely my number one. 90s crush taylor hansen oh absolutely i was waiting for that i was like she hasn't mentioned hansen at all like where i know she <laughs> yes i was so obsessed with hansen and taylor was always my favorite mm, bop. oh girl it it still kind of kills me that i didn't get to see them live in their quote unquote 90s heyday Mm. But I think part of it was that that was the f one of the first groups here pretty much since the Beatles in the U.S. that you heard of people getting trampled to see them. Like they were at a mall, I think in Oklahoma, where they're from, and there were girls being taken to the hospital because they oh had been God. trampled. They had fallen trying to get into the mall to go see them and Jeez. everything. And so my parents were kind of like, yeah, you're not going yeah, to no. see them. <laughs> and so I didn't see them until 2007, I think is when I first saw them. That was the first tour that they were doing, The Walk, which they, before each show, would go on a mile walk barefoot and invited mm. their fans to go to join them to raise <laughs> awareness for people who don't have I mean, they, they had spent a decent amount of time in, um, in Africa, I believe it was. So many people there, they don't even have the luxury of shoes. And so right. they had partnered with Tom's Shoes and mm. did the walk and they were raising awareness and donating money. And huh. they actually had Tom's Shoes. They were selling them at their concert which I have to say are still some of the most comfortable shoes I've ever worn. Oh yeah, I love in my those life. shoes. <laughs> and I I still to this day like am constantly I I have to have like at least one pair of Toms in my in my shoe collection. But I got to meet all three of them on the walk, but at that time they really weren't doing pictures because they didn't want to take away from the whole meaning and everything. And so mm. I was like, I, I got like in action picture with Zach, kind of like the far away selfie type thing. But then the next oh my time gosh. I saw them when after, after we did the walk, the next show that I, I went to like the following year, I got a picture with Taylor and I was like, I can fucking die. I can die happy. Like I got a picture with my childhood crush. I was so like excited. Done. It was life complete. It, it was. It was. It was one of those moments where you never thought that that would happen, right? And then it did, and you're like, "Wait, what do I do now?" Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. What's next? <laughs> right. But, exactly. But yeah. Like, that's that's amazing. They're honestly some of the nicest guys out there. Yeah, like, they seem super. Yeah, super just sweet. Super considerate and everything and they still put on a fucking amazing show it is insane i love it i will continue to go see them and i love that they do the smaller venues they don't go do arena shows mm -hmm. and so it's a, right it's a more intimate feel i do have to tell you though hanson fans can be fucking crazy some of the like most outrageous that I have personally seen. Hanson fans are great, but some of them are just insane. It's entertaining. I'm yes, that is my number one crush. Oh well, I didn't, I only got to meet one of mine, so maybe I'll get lucky and meet some of these other ones. But yeah. I don't know. <laughs> you never know. I mean, we've got 90s yeah, con. Never we've got 90s con coming up. Yeah, but I don't feel like any of the ones on my list are that active or doing anything they're going to be coming out and about. I mean, I mean, you never know. So <laughs> just have to keep living in back in the nineties. Yeah. Hell, Chris is at the one was at Connecticut. I mean, NSYNC's always doing stuff though. Yeah. So that doesn't really surprise me, honestly, I mean, but 
I think I know him. Joey still lives down here in Florida. I think Chris does too. So who knows? You yeah, might just run always, into him if I haven't already. And you just like yeah. you know don't sometimes put two and two together. Yeah. <laughs> Anybody else you want to mention? I had some, but now I've like lost my train of thought on that. The only person that popped into my head that we were since we were talking about so weird mm -hmm. was alex johnson who was in that show she was a blonde oh okay yeah the one that took over right mm -hmm. the... yeah she did a lot of like she, yeah she, yeah like she was she season sings two. and whatnot yeah i think she was yeah more season two than yeah. season one i mean she has she's not hasn't really done a whole lot acting wise mm -hmm. that was like the biggest thing that i remember her from i know she went on and did like music and whatnot but it was kind of funny though because I forgot she was in Final Destination 3, which is also the same one that Ryan Merriman was in. I'm like, holy oh. shit, they're both in this movie. Is, like, <laughs> So is, is it three or four, the tanning bed? Is it three? Uh, Final Destination one, really fucked with our... Oh, it still does to this day. It will always will. Like... It I still will never, I live by Final Destination will laws. Never like <laughs> drive behind a fucking log truck. No, any truck that has anything that's possibly able to escape. Hell fuck no. no. Give me past it. Give me past <laughs> it. I'll be in a line two miles long to make sure I'm not behind that sucker. Like that's what I I did mm -hmm. love seeing like people post on that shit. Oh, I know. It still cracks me up, those memes. <laughs> it does, too. I still, like, I, for the longest time, wouldn't go into a tanning bed because of Final Destination. I've never been, so. <laughs> I, only once we moved to Orlando. And partly because of that movie. <laughs> yeah, when we moved to Orlando, and I think it was, like, 2018, when I first laid in a tanning bed, and it was because of, and I flat out told the girl up front who was probably not even born until like 2000 or something <laughs> i asked her because I, I was like i'm gonna be completely honest with you i have a massive anxiety about this i don't know if you've ever seen the final destination movies but ever since then i have i swore to myself i would never do this but i'm i'm pasty pasty white and so when i am out in the sun down here i'm getting badly burned so i want to have like a little bit of a base to keep right. that from happening and so I, I have to ask is there any way of this game like of this happening and she just uh, she's like you're not the first person to have oh, I'm that sure. worry <laughs> it's got a timer it cannot go for more than this long or anything i'm like if you hear banging you better go running <laughs> I did get past that fear. Gosh, yeah. Yeah, I don't think I'll ever. Yeah. I'll prefer just doing a spray tan if it really gets down to the point that I need to do something because I will, I'll never. Those don't even do that. work for no. me. Like, we've tried those. Those don't, those oh, don't really? work for me. I just, hmm. it doesn't. Like, it'll give me like a boost for two hours and that's it. Like, it really. That's the body. Your body's like, no, it really <laughs> reject is. tan. It, it really <laughs> is. But no, that would actually be another good episode. Gosh. Um, like fears we have from the '90s and stuff that we still to this day can't like have oh trouble gosh. overcoming. Yeah. <laughs> Everything. You got any questions you want to ask me for this round? I just like doing the random ones. So let's see if I can find a random one that we haven't. Gone yeah, like a random. We got a random question. I'm gonna ask you. Did you watch Growing Pains? Yes and no. Actually, those would be two honorable mentions. There, Kirk Cameron and um, Leonardo DiCaprio. Okay, because that was this question. I was like, what heartthrob played Luke Brower on Growing Pains? <laughs> that would be Leo, right? Or is that Kirk? I don't remember the yeah. character names. <laughs> yeah, it was Leo. <laughs> yeah, I know he was a big crush for. Yeah, he's a crush. I like Leo. Yeah, but I mean, darn, I'm uh, seven years too old or something. <laughs> right? Yeah, we're way too old for him. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. So horrible. The audacity. Horrible. What? F okay, here's my question for you. Okay. What famous ex husband of Jennifer Aniston once guest starred on Friends? Brad Pitt. Ding, 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 ding. Isn't yeah. that her? <laughs> only ex-husband 
I think so. I, I don't keep up with her love life to I know, don't, but I don't yeah. either. You know, and that's the thing, like Mary Kate that was one thing I did I, I did have a hard time agreeing with Mary Kate and Ashley on, I think just because of my age difference. But like their obsession with Brad Pitt. That was one thing I couldn't like emulate mm. necessarily because Right. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. I mean he's not, I didn't feel like yeah. He's their not crushes, a bad like, looking guy or anything, but no, I just... he just never appears. It's the same thing with like Tom Cruise and everyone's obsession with him. I'm just like, me. Eh. Mm, yeah, not at all. Yeah, no, not for me. I thought you were about to say, hey, he's my crush. No. Oh. <laughs> I'm about to say, I don't know, April. I'm... We're ending this now. <laughs> I'll admit, and this may be an unpopular opinion, but like, I have to like work up the ability to even watch him in something. I agree. I don't. Yeah. I'm not, I'm not a super, super big fan of his. Me neither. <laughs> but, I mean, everybody's got their own. Of course, yeah. But. Mm. I'm not coming up with any good questions from mine. Well then. Can't have that. Ho, ho, ho. I have an issue with this, with my game. Uh-oh. Because, uh. What's it got? It's one of, it's a 90s spelling bee. Just spell the name. And the name is Shia LaBeouf, a.k.a. Lewis from Even Stevens. Even Stevens was 2000. Right. Not 90s. Is that what it says from Even Stevens on there? Yeah, like it mentions as Even Stevens. So now I have to see, if, was he in anything before Even Stevens? He had to have been. And that was probably just like his biggest claim to fame that they used that you would, someone would know. Cause... Yeah. Okay, he was, like, he was in, like, episodes here and there of things, like, single episodes of stuff, so, mm -hmm. okay. I will allow that one to pass, but... Shia LaBeouf. Uh, S-H-I-A. Continue. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Um, L-A-B-E-O-U-F. Damn! Oh, okay. Phew. I was like, I don't know about all these vowels. There's too I many know, vowels. Right? Like, I don't know what order. <laughs> I know. Well, I guess that was that was my question, and you got it right. Hey, Shia could be a crush. Not one of mine, especially like his earlier days. I am not one of mine. I'm just saying, like, he could have been someone's crush. He he was in a lot of those things early 2000s, but yeah. I do. Since we're mentioning him, I do have to say, like. Once he cut his hair for Transformers and stuff, he looked a lot better than, like, when he was on Even Stevens mm -hmm. and, uh... Right. Holes. Well, yeah, I mean, he was always kind of playing that, like, goofy kid. So you can never really take him seriously where you're like, oh, yeah, he's he's cute. Yeah. You're just kind of like, but, all right, he's someone's little brother. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, exactly. But speaking of also Mary, Mary Kay and Ashley... Oh. Did you... In a connection to Shia LaBeouf, besides Megan Fox, do you remember even Stevens at all? This is just kind of a random question. Oh, yeah. Okay. Absolutely. Love that show. So you remember Ren's rival, Larry, I think it is? I remember, but I can't picture the guy. He, he had like a sidekick. Larry. A goofy sidekick. Ren had a goofy no, sidekick? No, no, Larry did. That was always like... Oh, because it was the two of them. Larry was like this. I think it was Larry, if I remember correctly. Yeah, I'm going to have to look this up. <laughs> Just, let's see. Okay, yeah, Larry Beal. Okay, I was, that's who I was picturing. I, when, yeah, I was picturing him, but I'm like, was he in Even Stevens? Is that who okay. I'm remembering? Because I'm like, yeah. I know him from Don't Look Under the Bed. Exactly. But... <laughs> that, okay, I didn't know if you would know that one. So otherwise I would have mentioned that. Yeah. Okay, so he has... What's the MKA connection? You said Mary Kate Nash. Oh, the Mary Kate. Oh, sorry. So okay, so he has like a his best friend sidekick. Larry's best friend sidekick was in Winning London. Oh, I, uh, Eric Jongman. Yeah. yeah, he was in Winning London. Let me see what he looks like. Okay, now I remember. I remember him and uh -huh. Avon Stevens. Yeah, yeah, that's funny. Oh. <laughs> Weird. That's weird. Yeah. Huh. Oh, I forgot to mention about Lee Thompson Young being on uh, Johnny Tsunami. 
always forget he was in that. Because mm. he was the That's he was the best one. friend and everything. The one that huh. the the snowboarder that oh, yeah. did. That was from and Kirsten Storm. That would be another honorable mention. Kirsten. Yeah. I should have put her on my list. But of course, you know, it's like she popped up in ninety nine and yeah. just, it's she was yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, I was obsessed with her. Oh I same. love her. Same. I even like started watching General Hospital at one point when she went on because I'm like she's on the show now like yeah. I gotta watch I, it didn't last very long but I was like oh let me yeah. watch start watching this because she's in it oh yeah <laughs> and then the guy who played Protozoa mm, what was he in or are you just saying he was a crush he was he was he was an honorable mention but he was in the Pretty Little Liars spinoff. The perfectionist. Oh, I think I remember that. He was the because he like he was disappeared Sophie. from acting forever. Yeah, he was, and that was like Sof- a big thing. He popped up in that. Sophia Carson, dad in that, and yeah, when they were filming, they did. She had posted an Instagram story of them, of the two of them doing zoom, 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 McMichael. Oh boom, boom. man! I was like, oh my gosh, why is this just on a story? Like this is. Oh my god. Oh man! And oh. then it um, always gets me though, like they, him not being in the third Xenon, like that always gets me. That yeah. wasn't okay. Yeah, and then uh, what was his name? Greg Smith, the boy that mm, she liked. The boy he in did, that movie. He did a decent amount for a while. Yeah. He transitioned, I think, into directing. Oh. Yeah. Hmm. He was in Everwood, I think was the name of the show. Yeah, Everwood. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, he was on that. Okay, we're going to go down more rabbit holes if we start with this. Because <laughs> oh, there's right? so many people I could, like, pick out of things and be like, oh, yeah, and then him. But then he was also in that one with that one. And then yeah. <laughs> it'll go on and on. We'll have to do a part two. <laughs> oh, yeah. Part two. Forgotten. The forgotten crushes. <laughs> yes, for sure. Oh, man. That was fun, though. Oh, always so fun being innocent and in love with people you don't know and will never know and yeah oh, all right well hope you all enjoyed that that fun little chat we had look into our childhood mind of who we were infatuated with let us know if you had any of the same crushes <laughs> and who yours were absolutely until next time Bye.